Welcome back to how to build software without coding. It's Mr. Hackathon here, here to show you how to build software without coding. And today we are going to build a content generator in Google Sheets using AI. And if you've kept up with a lot of advancements in AI, especially the last couple of months, you would have seen there's been a lot of innovation happening in the space and especially in the no-code space. So now you can build AI applications easier than ever without coding. What we're going to do here is build our own model, but more importantly, we are going to create a bulk AI generator inside of Google Sheets. And this will make more sense as we go through this. The tool we're gonna to use to do this and the tool I recommend to use to do this is called Raiku. Raiku is a no-code fine-tuning platform it allows you to fine-tune your own AI models without coding and what we're going to do to get started is to go to the Google Sheets integration so you can integrate with make and other other tools but we're going to go to Google Sheets it takes you to do the integrations paid and we're going to click Google Sheets We're going to get connect Google Sheets down here and it's going to open a spreadsheet or it's going to ask to open a spreadsheet. What we want to do is make a copy of this. And it gives us a template. I am going to, was a copy already made? I think, yeah, a copy was already made. So I'm going to rename this bulk AI generator. And there's a video guide right here, but we're actually just going to remove this. Now, it has another sheet called prompts, and you will need that. It will be clear what this is actually for a little bit later. But what you would notice, if you are familiar with Google Sheets, is now we have this AI tab. And this is Raiku, Raiku's integration. This is Raiku's AI tab. So when we try to open the sidebar, it's going to ask us for permission after it finished running the script. So it needs our permission to run. We give it permission. I say, yeah. So we try to open that again. And it opens this sidebar. Let's just ignore this home bit for now. This will be what we need to use later. We do need to sign in. And you will need a Raikou account. A Raikou account is free. A Raikou, it's not free. You do need a Raikou account. You, there is, I believe it's a five day free trial for Raikou. Um, from there, it does have monthly subscriptions. To find your credentials, what you will go to is here. You will click profile. And when I click profile, my API keys will show immediately. So I'm not actually going to show you this part. We're gonna jump over this really quick. Now that I've input my email and my secret key, I just hit save and that has saved. Just double check, yep, I saved. And now we can move forward to the next step. If I jump back to Raikou really quickly and I go back to the dashboard, there are community prompts that you can use and some of these community prompts you actually see in the sidebar. We go back to sidebar where it says select a prompt. You'll see these community prompts that have automatically been integrated. You can use your own prompts. Uh, that's beyond this particular tutorial. We will do, be doing another tutorial about using your own prompts and using your own models. But what we will be using is this mid journey. Let's see if there's another interesting one. No, I think we will use this mid-journey uh, version 4.1. So this generates mid-journey prompts, and it creates mid-journey prompts using version 4 of the AI. You do have to have a short description of the image you want to generate. So if we just do an example, a 3D, say, a pixel... We're going to run that and to see what it comes up with. 
and this is the output. The idea of this project is to have a very abstract image in a pixel layer. So we can kind of work around with that, but that would be fine tuning the actual model. What we're doing here is creating a bulk AI generator. And the way it works in here is that you select it, if we can find it here, and you can see it actually says there's zero input needed. So let me just double check mid journey version four. And this is what this one's different. So if we go back. And I go to see all I'm going to look for hopefully I can find it mid journey. Okay, it's called mid journey art prompts. So this is it here. And what happens here is you just run the prompt and I guess it's generating random art prompts. It doesn't take any input. So that's the interesting thing about this. And what we will see here is because we don't need no input, what we can do here is just give this a title called prompts. I think this is white text. That's why you can't see it. Okay, we have a title called prompts. And what we have to do to activate this is do equals and type AI, we select AI. And because this particular prompt we're using, the mid journey art prompts, doesn't have no inputs, we don't actually need to put any inputs here. And we can just press enter. And it takes a minute, but you can see it's generated a prompt for us for mid journey. And what we can do to bulk generate these outputs is just drag and drop it. So we're going to generate 30, but you can generate 50, 100, as many as you want to generate. And you can see here, these are generating and loading. And we have 30 or 29 mid journey art prompts. So this is how you use Raikou to bulk generate AI output content.